Used BMW X3 Review A full used buyer's guide on the BMW X3 covering the X3 MK2, 2010 date. Verdict In theory, the BMW X3 is one of the most desirable cars of the past few years. Brits love their premium badges, and the compact SUV market is really booming, so any car that has a foot in both camps is bound to have a following. When the MK2 version arrived, we said, the X3 has matured from a somewhat flawed product into a genuine contender in the premium compact SUV market. It oozes class, and performed impressively during our time behind the wheel. So whether you need a motorway cruiser, family carry-all or towing vehicle, the X3 can deliver. When BMW launched its original X3 compact SUV back in 2004, Many including us felt it wasn't really worthy of the mark. There were too many flaws, including a cramped and disappointing interior and awkward styling. So when the new second generation arrived in 2010, expectations were high. This time BMW hit the bullseye. Here was a car that was now as accomplished as its bigger brother, the X5, with a roomy cabin, great driving dynamics, a high-quality interior and, to cap it all, it cost less, too. Six years on, the X3 MK2 is as desirable as ever, but as you'd expect of a BMW, you'll have to dig deep to buy one second hand. Models covered The BMW X3 was launched in 2003 and was an instant success. The MK1 was on sale for seven years before the current model replaced it in 2010. It's this second generation car that we're focusing on this review. BMW X3, 2010 date, desirable compact SUV proves its worth as a used buy. History The X3 MK2 went on sale in November 2010 in 2.0 liters drive 20D form only. At first, only SE trim was offered, four months later, an M Sport option was introduced. From August 2011 there were two 3.0 liter six-cylinder versions, the 258 BHP Strive 30D and the 313 BHP Strive 35D, the latter capable of 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5.8 seconds. Things went the other way a year later, with the arrival of the entry-level 143BHP X3's Drive 18D. A facelift in 2014 brought extra standard equipment, plus a more efficient range of engines. At the same time, three new trim levels were introduced, SE+, Sline and M Sport+. Prices One-year-old cars will be between £28,500 and £40,000 depending on specification, while a 5-year-old X3 will be in the £14,000 to £20,000 bracket. Which one should I buy? While there were petrol engines for Europe, they didn't come to the UK, so your choice is between 2.04 or 3.06-cylinder diesels, all are excellent. The 6-speed manual or 8-speed automatic gearboxes are also superb, so neither should be avoided. Entry-level SE trim features 17-inch alloy wheels, dual-zone climate control, cruise control, a 6.5-inch display, leather trim, a multifunction steering wheel, automatic lights and wipers, plus parking sensors all round, while SE Plus brings upgraded hi-fi and adaptive lighting. Sline has sportier trim details and upgraded leather, M Sport adds sports seats, sports suspension, sportier trim and 18-inch wheels, and M Sport Plus cars get xenon lights, 20-inch wheels, and upgraded hi-fi. Facelift X3 SES also feature heated front seats, sat NAV and an automatic tailgate. Alternatives to the BMW X3 The X3 is up against some talented competition, not least of all the hugely popular Range Rover Evoque. This car feels more special and looks more distinctive, even though it's a very common sight. Audi's Q5 is hugely desirable, which is why values are high, but it comes with efficient engines and has a superb cabin. The Volvo XC60 is stylish and seriously safe, plus it's okay to drive, if not that thrilling. 
It might look ordinary, but Volkswagen's Tiguan is actually a great all-rounder with good engines. If you're looking for a car which can tow, any of these will do the job but so, too, will the Land Rover Freelander, which is also worth shortlisting. What to look for? SAT NAV The factory fit SAT NAV can be underwhelming. Updates to maps are hard to come by and the system is designed for 7-digit postcodes. Mirrors The wing mirrors provide excellent visibility, but they produce a disappointing amount of wind noise at motorway speeds. Sport steering Some owners of X3S with variable sport steering have experienced failure of the power assistance, the whole rack has to be replaced. Noises Creaks and rattles are surprisingly common. The tailgate, seats, parcel shelf, and doors can all produce annoying sounds when you're on the move. Interior The cabin is typical BMW, so it's conservatively designed, but with high-quality materials and superb construction. The seats are supportive and there's plenty of legroom for rear passengers. Boot space is generous, too, you get 550 liters with the seats up, or 1,600 liters when they're folded. Running costs. All X3 MK2S have condition-based, variable, servicing, which means the car flags up when attention is needed. The system takes the condition of a wide range of service items into account and indicates when attention is due, but only those parts that need replacing will be renewed, so no two service costs are the same. However, Services are usually needed every 18,000 miles or two years. A typical minor service costs around 130 pounds for a 2.0 liter car, 145 pounds for a 3.0 liter, while a major service is more like 350 pounds, or 375 pounds for a 3.0 liter. The brake fluid should be renewed every three years, 50 to 60 pounds, and because all X3 engines are chain-driven, no fresh timing belts are ever required. Recalls There has been just one recall affecting the X3 MK2, but it was a problem that could crop up in any of BMW's nine model ranges. In the case of the X3, the issue centered on cars built up to the end of November 2011. These could suffer from some screws coming loose in the variable valve timing mechanism, leading to oil leaks and the engine reverting to emergency mode. When this happens, an orange warning light will illuminate on the dash, signifying a problem. Driver Power Owner Satisfaction The X3 got off to a good start when it made its debut in our Driver Power 2013 Satisfaction Survey, in 13th place. It climbed to 12th in 2014, before dropping to 24th in 2015 and 79th this year. Owners like the performance the most, it came 40th, and practicality, 55th, while the worst score was 113th for seat comfort.